So blockchain solves the issue of time and trust, and these two constructs lend themselves to solving many of the problems that the financial services industry has. So from blockchain perspective, we are trying to address elements around solving the issue of time and trust, which means we are trying to alleviate you know, creating new business models, um, going towards disintermediation of, of the existing ecosystem that's, that has evolved over time. So as we work with our financial system partners, big banks, custody banks, retail banks, we are finding that everything that's a friction that, that's causing a friction, we are trying to address that and solve some of those elements from a, as a transaction system using blockchain. So whether it's securities lending, whether it's you know, equities trading, whether it's private equity, whether it's payments, we're trying to apply blockchain as a transaction system to solve and alleviate some of the challenges that the industry has seen so far. So we at IBM are focusing on the de facto open standard on, around Hyperledger, devising products, devising solutions, devising competency and skill set uh, that will help our clients adopt and consume technology in a more meaningful fashion. Uh, leading towards a more economically viable solution as opposed to dealing with it as a, from, a, from a more pragmatic perspective. I think that a lot of organizations are already talking the talk regarding customer-centricity approach, right? They're talking about uh, customer service, value, and all, those, all that buzzwords. But do they really walk the walk? How come that with all of organizations, good intention and good will, they're still failing to do so? It seems that quite often decision makers have, a, how should I say, a little room to maneuver. And why is that? Because in, when it comes to shareholders, uh, they have a room to maneuver only until a point. Till a point where the shareholders start to resist or disagree. Because when it comes to the profit line, no one is willing to take a hit. Not even a bump. But if you want to really and relentlessly focus on the customer, you can't look on things like short profit considerations or, or stock uh, market reactions. You need to look at loyalty, trust, value, and customer satisfaction. We surveyed a thousand American consumers, and here are some of the things that we came up with. Most American consumers believe that FinTech is on their side. It will help them do better with their finances, uh, gain power over it, autonomy, agency, those are all good things. On the other hand, for small businesses, it's tougher, especially since the last uh, recession, since 2008, a lot of the banks withdrew and it was much tougher. Day sales outstanding ratios, the time you have your receivables out, double in the United States uh, from 45 to 90 days for small businesses. So big problems there. Uh, however, Americans believe they will uh, be better off financially if they use the power of fintech technologies. That's good for the entrepreneurs in the room and the large companies that start adopting the new platforms. Uh, consumers prefer by two-thirds to handle their information of finance and I mean, including insurance, uh, mortgages, business banking, all kinds of stuff. They prefer online. Uh, they prefer one nice thing is that it's providing services to the uh, average consumer that were reserved primarily for only wealthy clients in the past. We call that leveling the playing field. I'll come to that uh, in a moment in more depth. Uh, 